Good afternoon, everyone. I'm excited to present a study from the Southern Science Conference 2024 titled Effect of Increasing Soil Bulk Density and Organic Amendment on Selected Soil Properties, Growth and Yield of Cowpea. This research was conducted by Ahama Fule, Henry Emeka, and Umar, Muhammad Bashir from the University of Eloran's Faculty of Agriculture in Nigeria. Their work addresses a critical issue in modern agriculture, and I'm looking forward to sharing their findings with you today. Let's begin by understanding the context of this research. In recent years, we've seen an intensification of crop farming practices, which has led to an increase in soil bulk density. This is particularly relevant for cowpea production, as there's been a growing demand for this crop, However, this intensification comes at a cost. Previous studies, such as the one by Igoni and Ayotomono in 2016, have shown that increased soil bulk density can significantly impair both soil and cowpea productivity. It's a challenging situation, but there's hope. Some researchers like Shagoli and Janatka in 2018 have suggested that incorporating organic matter into the soil might improve its bulk density. This is crucial because if we want to ensure food security, we need to consider the sustainability of our soil management practices. The primary objective of this study was straightforward but vital. The researchers set out to determine how increasing soil bulk density and applying organic amendments would affect soil properties and cowpea production. This information is critical for developing strategies to maintain soil health and crop yields in areas where intensive farming is necessary. Now, let me walk you through the methodology they used. This was a comprehensive study designed to give us reliable results. They set up a two-factorial experiment using a randomized, complete block design. The first factor they looked at was bulk density which they tested at six different levels, 1.0, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, and 2.0 grams per cubic centimeter. The second factor was organic amendments. They used two types, poultry droppings and cattle dung, along with an unamended control for comparison. To set up the experiment, they manually compacted soil into pots with a known volume of 3,485 cubic centimeters. The amount of organic amendments they applied was 10% of the soil mass in each pot. This standardized approach allowed them to accurately measure the effects of their treatments. They then measured several key parameters, total porosity, organic matter content, germination percentage, and yield. To ensure the reliability of their results, they analyzed the data using analysis of variance, ANOVA, and separated the means using the least significant difference at a 5% probability level. They also performed a regression analysis to understand the relationship between soil bulk density and cowpea grain yield. Now let's dive into the results starting with how bulk density and organic amendments affected soil properties. They found that as bulk density increased from 1.2 to 2.0 grams per cubic centimeter, the total porosity of the soil consistently declined. In fact, for every 0.2 gram per cubic centimeter increase in bulk density, they saw at least a 7% decrease in porosity. This is significant because porosity affects how well water and air can move through the soil, which is crucial for plant growth. However, there's good news. When they added organic amendments to the soil, they saw a significant increase in total porosity by a minimum of 18%. Interestingly, they found that poultry manure had an even greater positive effect on porosity compared to cattle dung. This suggests that the type of organic amendment we choose can make a real difference in improving soil structure. 
Looking at organic matter content, they observed that increasing bulk density from 1.4 to 2.0 grams per cubic centimeter significantly reduced the soil's organic matter. This is concerning because organic matter is crucial for soil health. But again, the organic amendments came to the rescue. Applying these amendments increased the soil organic matter by at least two and a half times compared to the control soils. Specifically, soils amended with poultry droppings had slightly higher organic matter content compared to those treated with cattle dung. Now let's look at how these soil changes affected the cowpea plants. The researchers found that when bulk density increased beyond 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter, it significantly reduced the germination percentage of cowpea seeds. At the highest bulk density of 2.0 grams per cubic centimeter, they saw a maximum reduction of 28% in germination. However, when they applied organic amendments to these compacted soils, they observed a 16% to 20% increase in germination, count on average. This shows how organic amendments can help mitigate the negative effects of soil compaction on seed germination. The effects on cowpea yield were equally striking. For every 0.2 gram per cubic centimeter increase in bulk density from 1.40 to 2.0, they saw at least a 16% reduction in yield. Interestingly, they also noticed that yield was lower in soils with a bulk density of 1.0 gram per cubic centimeter compared to those at 1.2 and 1.4. This suggests there's an optimal range for soil bulk density when it comes to cowpea production. The good news is that organic amendments significantly increased cowpea yield by a factor of two and they found no significant difference between the effects of poultry droppings and cattle dung on yield. So what can we conclude from all this? First, it's clear that increasing bulk density beyond a critical value of 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter significantly reduces soil organic matter content, total porosity, cowpea germination percentage, and yield. However, the study also shows that organic amendment of compacted soils can improve bulk density, porosity, soil organic matter, germination percentage, and yield of cowpea. While poultry droppings seem to have a slight edge in improving soil properties compared to cattle dung, both were effective. The researchers recommend applying either poultry dropping or cattle dung at 10% of soil mass to ameliorate the effects of increasing bulk density on soil properties and, consequently, on cowpea yield. These findings have important implications for sustainable agriculture, especially in areas facing soil compaction due to intensive farming. By incorporating organic amendments, farmers may be able to maintain soil health and crop productivity even under intensive cultivation. This research contributes valuable insights to our ongoing efforts to ensure food security while preserving the health of our soils. Thank you for your attention.